recently some stuff has happened um, with Tony and I and um, some of our um, some of our close people. So we actually need to take a little bit of a break from Patreon. Tonight we are not going to go live and watch episodes um, for season one episode of four and five. We're actually headed out of town right now. Um, I will give you guys an update as soon as I can give you guys an update. I, we do technically I can schedule out posts, so there are some things that will be posted this week, some um, big love things, um, but we're taking a little bit of a pause from um, comments and uh, answering questions. I'll give you guys more information um, later in this week, but for now there will not be a uh, live today. Sorry, I appreciate you all tons for your um, your support and your being here. I just wanted to let you guys know and update you, and thank you. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. Listen, it's been kind of a intense few minutes. I just uploaded a video about Cody and Robin and this whole episode on secrets of polygamy. And then my e box just started getting blown up because this Facebook group starts posting about Garrison Brown and there's no confirmation. So we're like, what is going on? And I spent so much time digging, listening to scanners, trying to figure out what was going on. And I finally found police scanner records. And then by the time I found that, it was posted to TMZ. So this video is going to be shocking and super sad for those of you that are Sister Wives fans. Um, it's extremely unnerving to know that this has occurred, especially given that Cody is involved in a business that contributed to what happened today. So, and he's not involved in what happened today, but earlier today, Gabriel Brown arrived home at his home that he shares with his brother Garrison. Garrison had last posted on Instagram only a couple days ago, introducing his brand new cat, uh, a female that he had just purchased, welcoming her to his family. He seemed happy and he seemed okay. He had a huge smile on his face. So naturally finding out what occurred this morning is devastating. So Gabriel Brown, Gabriel Brown arrived at Garrison's home this morning and he found his brother on the floor unresponsive. And immediately he made a call for law enforcement to come. And when they arrived on scene, he was gone. So Garrison apparently has spent his last moment here on earth. The news has been initially came out by this Facebook group without a verification. And then there was a scanner that I had found on police scanner. And there was an actual incident that was called into his home egg staff. The call came in at 10, 12 a.m. And just this morning and just this afternoon, TMZ is reporting that it's true. Garrison is 20, was 25 years old. And this is what TMZ was able to obtain from the Flagstaff PD. It says, officers responded to his home Tuesday morning on a report of a DEATH. And when they arrived, they discovered him. DOA. They're told that he appears to have suffered from a self-inflicted wound. They're told that no, they were told that no foul play was expected. And for now they're looking into this as an apparent in self-infliction. And they said that Gabriel arrived at, at the house and found him there. And there's no word whether a note was left behind or not. So Garrison is the fourth child of Janelle and Cody, and he has been one of the children that has been in the front and center of huge disagreements with his family. His parent, his breakdown in his relationship with his father, Cody, 
and the just sort of the aftermath of that breakup was a huge storyline of this last season of Sister Wives. Garrison was one of the most vocal children about his displeasure with his father basically abandoning his entire family for Robin, feeling like his father had changed, that Robin was a narcissist, that his father picked favorites. Cody has spent probably three or four seasons berating both Gabriel and Garrison, calling them jerks, saying that he doesn't want to have a relationship with them. He said on the tell-all or on a season episode that he hated them all. He never wanted to see them again. Garrison in an episode this past season had talked about how, you know, he had bought a house and he bought a car and he did those things despite what his father had told him to do and how his dad basically had said that he shouldn't do those things. He seemed resigned to the fact that he likely would not ever have a good relationship with his dad and was pretty outspoken about the gaslighting that he was experiencing from both Robin and Cody in regards to their involvement in the breakdown of their family. Garrison has been in school at Northern Arizona University. He was a member of the National Guard so he also has military service as a part of his legacy. It's unknown what caused today, what happened specifically today for him to make this choice. It's been pretty obvious to people that watch the show that Cody's berating of his sons could not have been healthy for them especially given the fact that these boys were so loyal to Cody for so long and they just, they worshiped their dad as kids and he just, he frankly abandoned them. And I just can't imagine what that would do to a child and knowing that the boys that are in these cultures are just competition to their dad and, and discarded and ignored and basically thrown out like yesterday's trash by their families because their competition for wives it's just it's a lost boy that has lost his life and sadly this is a reality that plagues these communities every day polygamy is serious in that when people leave it is incredibly hard for them to unpack and unravel what they've been through. And for a lot of people, their only option feels like out of this. My thoughts are with the family and with Janelle. I cannot imagine what she's going through right now. Janelle's entire world are her kids. And I know that she loved her boys and was, I know that Garrison loved his mom, but I also know that Garrison felt such a deep rejection from Cody. And I know that there's other kids in this family that are probably feeling the exact same way. And I just hope that at some point this is a wake-up call to this family that what's happening on television is not worth it. Um, putting this all out to the media and the masses is there is real-life consequences and there's real children involved in this. And we'll never know if he left a note these boys were crying out for love and affection and acceptance. They've been crying out for years on this show. And this is just a, such a sad tragedy. Gabriel was known as being very adventurous, very outgoing. He loved photography. He loved looking at he loved telescopes. He loved to take photographs of the sky of the sky and the stars. He was always posting amazing, amazing photography on his Instagram. He had recently been traveling in Europe, doing some studies abroad. His entire life was just full and rich of possibilities. And it's like you never know what someone's facing on a day-to-day -day basis. But I can't imagine that what's happened publicly with the family couldn't have played a factor in how he was feeling. Garrison was extremely loyal to his mother, extremely protective of his younger sister, Savannah, very close to his brother, Gabriel, extremely close to his brother, Peyton. 
he had a very close relationship with Christine and really while his youth, he was kind of a kid that got in a lot of trouble and got into a lot of fights. He really turned it around when he joined the National Guard and went into service and then on to college. He had all, everything going for him, except for a family that was falling apart on a show for public consumption. If you or someone you know are dealing with any troubles, if you need help, if you need to talk with someone, if you're struggling and you need to speak, there's a 24-hour day hotline. It's 988. It's okay to share your feelings. It's okay to talk to someone. If you feel alone, there are people out there that will speak with you. I know it's hard to share how you're feeling. I know it's hard to get help, especially when you grow up in a culture that doesn't value mental health or understand mental illness. But it's okay to take those steps to get help, and there is help available. There are organizations like Hope After Polygamy and holding out help that have resources for individuals that leave these cultures. There is tons of options out there and 988 is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you need someone to speak to. If you know anyone in your life that is dealing with or feeling sad or having loss or rejection, be the person that reaches out to them today and let them know that they matter. I'm sure it'll be a devastating memory for Gabriel to have had to walk out and see that. And I can't imagine what this is going to be like for Janelle, for Christine, for the kids. McKelty obviously looked so sad when she posted on her Patreon that she was canceling her videos and she didn't want to say what happened. And then just knowing that Cody's businesses are involved in how he ended his life, it just... I think that's just this other part of it that just makes my heart hurt even more. This is a culture that glorifies those. The AUB is a huge proponent of them, and your Second Amendment rights are fine, but in their culture, it's not about that. Garrison had so much to offer. He was funny. He kept audiences laughing, and he was such a staunch defender of his mom. May you rest in peace, Garrison. As more details are revealed, I'll update soon. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.